in Dr. Christina Nostro's lab. We work with type 1 diabetes and our focus is to make insulin producing cells in the lab. Type 1 diabetes is a very chronic disease with its onset oftentimes at early stages of life. And what happens is that our immune system recognizes the beta cells which reside in the pancreas as foreign. So they attack and destroy these cells thinking that these are not um, our cells, these are foreign cells. The primary function of the beta cells is to make insulin and regulate our blood glucose. And without them, uh, the individual would be living with type 1 diabetes. People living with type 1 diabetes rely on insulin injection through needles or pumps to substitute for the absence of these cells. Now imagine if you can actually generate these cells from a stem cell population and transplant them in the person living with type 1 diabetes and eliminate the need for insulin injection. The only long-term therapy that has been tested is transplantation of beta cells from organ donors. This method is unfortunately limited by uh, availability of donors. Uh, so as a scientific community, us and many other labs around the world are trying to generate a renewable source for beta cells. We work with a specific cell type called human embryonic stem cells. And uh, they are particularly interesting because they have the potential to give rise to all the cells in your body. We are harnessing this potential to generate specific cells like liver cells or heart cells, or in our case, the insulin producing cells that are found in the pancreas to replace and restore um, the missing cells in the body. To do that, we have technology to generate pancreatic cells in the lab. We weren't sure how pure these cells are, or in other terms, if they could also give rise to um, other organs that are developmentally somewhat close to the pancreas, such as the intestine or the stomach. And to make sure that we are completely separating the population that are destined to become a pancreas from all the other cell types, uh, we identified a particular marker that is expressed by these cells. What we were able to show in 2017 was that the cells purified with this marker were able to make beta cells in the petri dish. What we didn't do then was to demonstrate that these uh, purified progenitors could generate insulin producing cells in an experimental model. And this is exactly what Yasin Farida worked on recently and we're able to publish this year. To reach this point, you know, we had a lot of um, trials and errors and we had to test multiple different methods that didn't work um, to, you know, come up with this one particular method that, that not only works but it's efficient and it's also reproducible. Of course, there are always limitations to a project and the limitation to this particular project is that when we make pure cells, we just do not have enough product to work with, with patients or in the clinic. The most exciting part about this work is knowing that the cells that we make here at the McEwen Stem Cell Institute could be used in clinical trial. And of course I'm biased, but I hope that through the collaboration that we have with the Ashmera Transplant Center, the beta cells that we produce in the lab will be potentially used to treat people living with type 1 diabetes.